So body count as it relates to ability to pair bond. So lots of people on the different communities, I shall say, on the internet talk about it's cool for guys to have, you know, hundreds of women they've slept with. But women should only sleep with a handful of guys, handful of boyfriends, because if they have a really high body count, then it interferes with their ability to pair bond. And then they'll never be with the same guy for the whole lives forever and ever. And she'll never be, never be a mother. And well, I mean, you could just Google that and you'll see all this stuff out there. So it was interesting. She brought that up and wanted to talk about it. And she had an interesting answer. And she got a little fired up <laughs> and let it rip. And that's one of the things I love about her is that she just speaks her mind. So, Well, I feel like today there's a lot of, um, like, people feel like body count is such a big deal. And, oh, if you've slept with th- these many people, like, you're a hoe. Or, oh, you've only slept with one person. Like, what are you doing? Like, I feel like... There's so much stigma behind this body count. And when you get into a relationship, the first thing they ask is, what's your body count? Like, I just feel like body count is such a stupid construct. And it was made to degrade people and make people insecure. It's part of the patriarchy. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) I just feel like it's a number. And if you're going to let a number control you or your ability to pair a bond... What's the point? Like, I believe that anyone should be able to sleep with any amount of people and be able to, uh, like, have a bond with anyone. And um, exploring and experimenting with people is natural, and it's how humans interact. And sleeping with 30 people compared to sleeping with 100 people, both of them are totally fine. Everyone's just experimenting. And I feel like, especially with women, like you were saying, men are allowed to sleep with all these people, but women can only sleep with a certain amount of guys. Women can do whatever the fuck they want, and men can do whatever the fuck they want. And I think that body count should only come into play when it has to do with your health, your well-being, your mental well-being. I do not think it should get um, in the way of being able to pair a bond. And I don't, honestly, I don't even think that a significant other should even know about your body count. I feel like that's personal to you and you don't even have to share that information. It shouldn't be a flex and it shouldn't be something you should be insecure about. I think body count should just be something you've done and your past and you should be proud of it and you should learn from your past experiences. And yeah, I think that there's a lot of hatred around and insecurities around body count and I feel like everyone should just be okay with their past and their past decisions. I don't think there should be any hatred towards that at all. That's my take on it. (laughs) I've dealt with lots of friends who have been like talked down upon, called a hoe because they've slept with people. But in reality, like people don't know what's actually going on in their lives. Like I've had friends who have been going through like really bad mental struggles and the only way they know how to cope with it is just to get validation from men because that's all they know and like mentally they don't they can't logically think about a solution so they just get with men and just because their past mistakes weren't good decisions it shouldn't dictate their ability to pair a bond with a significant other in the future so I think everyone should just take into account that body count doesn't mean shit (laughs) only if you make it like a big deal and I think everyone should be able to be proud of their past and their past decisions period (laughs) <laughs> that's my little tangent. So what is a high body count to you, Gracie? Um, just from me and my own personal experience with, like, my friends and my family, for me, like, over 10 is, like, whoa, you've really, like, gone around, which is awesome. Like, it, I bet for a lot of people it's way higher, but since I'm so young... um. Over 10 bodies is, like, a lot for me. But definitely for other people, I would say, like, 30, 40 is a lot. I don't know. What about you guys? Uh, 65 uh, 65 and up, like, Social Security. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Okay. That number just like I like don't That's even know that, if you, I've like met your that shit. many. At sixty-five, you know your shit. Like you, you you know your shit. At that yeah. point, that that you figured it out. That's. That's like that's a high that's a th- a low one. I mean, you can just say fucking like three. Three is a great number. Three, three, three works. Comedy comes in threes. Yeah. I'd say like three. You you've tested out three different things. Test You're out like the what you like, what you don't like, and what you want. That's a big. Also, thing. I feel bad for all the girls out there who are like like beat up on themselves for either being virgins or like having one body. Oh, who cares? Like save yourself. Like I like be innocent for as long as you can. I don't know. Well, just cuz you have sex doesn't mean you're not innocent. What is why, True. what's that correlation? True. Mm. But um I feel like everyone has a different like high or low body count. Like everyone's perception of a high body count is different. Yeah. And that's why it's such a stigma, and it's like for every single person, it's different. So why make such a big deal out of it? If it's you're trying to get everyone? a fucking baseline out of just a whole bunch of people, yeah, everyone and then, has different stuff. Of course, it's gonna change the number. When I they mean. tell you the number, you have this whole like different thought of the person. It's like, yeah, you shouldn't let a number of well, a amount of people they've slept with like impact them as a person. I think some people do that. So yeah, just, a lot of people do that. Fuck those people. Who cares? <laughs> Fuck them if they can't take a joke Mick Jagger That's not my problem That's their problem Seriously <clears throat> Oof I get heated about that <laughs> I'm just that? like I've seen too many friends get hurt from that stuff So what's a low body count? There's no such thing <laughs> I mean there is it Well we zero. just went through the high yeah. So to you anything above 10 is uh, verboten? Well, it's not a bad thing. It's just a high an it's amount just of bodies. Thing. It's just yeah. a thing. I mean, it's. I feel yeah, like a low no. body count's like one. One or none. One I don't or know. none. And even if you like get three, one. Three is good. Which is Trust. just right. Exactly. Trust. Which is just right. That was oh, the question. Which one, what number? What number is the right number? Your favorite number. The, <laughs> what, what is the, uh, the middle range that people should strive for? I don't think anyone should strive for any number. I think you should. You gave a high and a well, low. Well, the thing is with the bo- okay, the body count's a little misleading, okay? Because you can have sex with like say these three different people, but say one of these relationships was a couple fucking years, so you had sex quite a bit, so you understand it. So that's where body count. It doesn't yeah. matter. And we're just talking about bodies. The amount okay. of we're just, bodies. We're just. Like it, okay, how the many same notches body there are over the decades? You know, I don't. I but that that have no same notch what could what change though. The right. same person evolves and shit. So if it's there, it's for a always while. changing. Yeah, bro. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> As life goes on and you have experiences, it's always changing. Mm-hmm. So I think that's where definitely body counts misleading because if someone say say they people can have the same amount of sex. Say so you have other you've words, had sex. 272 times, okay? But this person had sex 272 times with three people. Yeah, we're people, not talking about how, the number of times you had girl, sex. We're talking about body count. Yeah, but it's like kind of related. I'm, I'm doing a little nah, different thing with it. it's not related. Different kind, It depends how many sex you had. It's one person now, kind of. It can add to it if that's for a while. How much DNA swapping were you involved <laughs> in? How much right mixing? Because not only are you having sex with them... You're having sex with everybody that they've had sex with, that and that true. those other people have had sex with. I so it's like know. one big giant DNA that. soup of humanity. How many Eskimo brothers I have out there? <laughs> it's like s- swimming in a pool that's not been chlorinated recently. <laughs> the little kid just peed uh, in there. <laughs> that's funny. I don't. There's no way I would be able to think of a number that's just right. Because I you feel had like to guess. everyone's constantly, like, gaining. Even if you're at zero, everyone's still gaining. So, You can't I don't lose know. a body count. <laughs> well, yeah. it stops. You stop gaining, well, at least you're supposed to if you're married or in a relationship. That is and then true. once you become single you're again, it starts accumulating <laughs> and going up. Yeah. It accelerates. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't know how to answer that question. I would honestly right. just answer what's the, it what's the just, with mine. What's the just right amount, Chunk? But I'm not going to say The just right amount for me, fuck it, 24. 
I like that number. It works. I think 24 is a great number. For start for my current life experience, it's obviously going to keep growing, but 24 is, sounds nice. It rings off the tongue. So that that's my answer, but it's different for obviously every person and whatever stage of life you're at. So whatever applies to you, what what you like. <laughs>